This is a True Audiophile video. Visit us at trueaudiophile.com. Hey everyone, welcome to another True Audiophile video. Today we're looking at the Michel Gyro Turntable. Once you open the box, you see something, well, styrene. But then you see the product in all its glory, i.e. in all its millions of pieces. Below that tray is a sub-mount, and below that is the tri-mount, which of course will fit on your stand. Included are precise instructions, warranty cards, and templates. This is a complex table to set up, but it's loaded with engineering. In fact, probably aside from our video, we're linking to the manufacturer video of how to set one up at our website in the product page. You can see there's plenty of parts and we're gonna start taking them out of their packaging just to show you which you're seeing right now. And there's a tone arm coming up on the right hand side. You can order it with many different types of tone arms or with no tone arm at all if you happen to have one. Okay, let's get down to it. So we removed the platter from its packaging and these brass bits will start spinning once the table is assembled and it looks beautiful. But again, everything is engineered properly. Let's get started in assembling it. There is the tri-mount base. You can see this is what's going to sit on your rack, conical feet. Then there's the sub-platter, which the inverted bearing will screw into and the tone arm will screw into as well as the three points of sub-suspension. Now we're starting to put together the platform for the tone arm. Beautifully machined. And incredibly well thought out. Kudos to Michelle for not sitting on their laurels. Stanley Kubrick loved this turntable and used it in one of his most iconic films. Here's the inverted bearing being put in. Make sure you oil it and make sure when you put the top of it, which you see here, it has a little ball bearing in it so it rides properly. Now here it is on the base and three points of suspension. The motor is put in space, and by space, we're not kidding, it doesn't touch anything. There you can see you adjust the height of each foot. Now we have the platter on it. And you're going to see, we're going to show you how well it's suspended. Everything really is well thought out, even small little details such as a zip tie that goes on the back of it that holds the tone arm cables because they found that if they were suspended properly, it'll give you greater detail in the reproduction. This is the Michelle Gyro Turntable. Thank you for watching. We really appreciate it. Visit us anytime, day or night, 24 hours a day at trueaudiophile.com. This is a True Audiophile video. Visit us at trueaudiophile.com.